Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicast. And Jean, today we have a little heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. This is the 61 Highway blend, Jean. Jean, you know what's special about this bourbon whiskey? Mm -mm. Two things. One, this only used to be available as a store pick. This is one of those uh, aforementioned store picks. This is a total wine store pick we picked up a while back, but uh, they no longer do this as just a, uh, a store pick. Now that they do kind of do single barrels for the store picks, they don't do this anymore. But this is a blend gene of 69% Tennessee bourbon and 31% rye. Straight rye. Straight rye whiskey, non-age stated, just a blend of straights. Um, they do actually have it on here. I did not read the side of the bottle. They have bourbon. That's uh, two different bourbons, a batch H14-28, 40% of that, and then 40% of batch G14-25 of the bourbons, and then 20% of batch 1315 of the rye. Okay, I don't know what any of that means, but there you go. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. It reminded me of some song, but I can't remember. I just got a tune. I can't even get the words in my mouth in my head. Gene, share with the group. I can't because I don't know the words. How, how, how's the melody go? Hmm. Does it go? Buddy, oh my man! Yeah. <laughs> you know the fun fact they made that just for the audience to sing along with because they got tired of the audience singing along. They did not like the audience singing their songs. They said, "Let's make a song that everybody knows the words to, and we'll do that first in the, on the album." To try and get the singers out of the way. Yep. Fun fact. I bet it didn't work. I mean, I bet they all sung that, but yeah, I bet it, they continued singing. They eventually embraced that people would sing their songs. You Thank can you. sing my song. Thank you, Queen. You're welcome. Uh, what do you get on the nose there, Jean Marie? So, I got a lot of dust. It's like a dusty field to me. Dusty lemonade. It's like I'm walking in a dusty cornfield and they're trying to get ready for like a, to make a maze for a cornfield for, for the, for the Halloween time when you take your family and you try and figure out how to get out of a corn maze and then, and then the kids just run off. You say take your family. I wonder if anybody ever goes in the cornfield by themselves. Like, eh, I'm gonna go get myself a pumpkin, take the maid, maybe get a candied apple. Hey, can I go with you, Dad? Nope. It's Daddy's time. <laughs> Going by myself. I bet, I bet somebody does. I bet somebody does. Well, thank you to stay out of my corn maze, young you know, man. Because there's probably somebody that really loves doing corn mazes and the rest of the family like, I'm playing games, dude. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not uh, getting off my freaking computer and killing oh. people. <laughs> oh, because because Alexis called that. That's right. <laughs> our our Alexis named after uh, the Enterprise. You know. Computer. What time is it? The time is four o four p.m. There you go. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's not here. <laughs> I'm getting strong, like well blended lemonade. Are you? Not like a tinted, not like a Lynchburg lemonade, but like. Is it served oh, in a cornfield? There, there's dust. It's it's a barn floor. I'm not getting really anything other than I'm standing in that cornfield and I've got dusty corn. Now I'm getting red berries, like a uh, Kool-Aid, cherry Kool-Aid powder. Man, I'm trying. I gotta sniff it. Huh. Maybe I'm going. Gotta, maybe I gotta snort it. Jerk. Maybe. Okay. Oh, did I didn't even say the ABV? I don't think I did. I'm guessing this is 50. What is it? Well, I wasn't expecting that. 46.8, 93.6 proof. I thought a little higher. This is a sweet, juicy berry, like like a jam that just got squeezed into my mouth. I was expecting it, I was expecting dry mouth full of yep. dust. I was expecting oak. A lot of, lot of, look. A little bit of even a chili spice. I'll say it's heavy peppers for me, but it's even like a bit of a habanero spice, which I was not expecting. I'll give you that. I'm gonna get, it's a piece of wheat or toast, jalapeno. toasted perfectly, and then it's drenched in some kind of a jam. Yeah. With a little bit of strawberry, yeah. a little bit of your habanero, just a touch, just a touch of it. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of, a lot of honey, a lot of butter. Mm. This, I'm going to be honest with you, this sucked on the uncorking. I didn't like it. I don't remember what score I gave it, Gene knows. But I didn't like it, I'm like, it's just, oh, there's no flavor here. Which again, this is why we don't do too many uncorkings. Well, there is some oak there, but. Um, On the nose, yeah. I like berries. 
Mm, this is good. It's, it's soaking into my tongue. My tongue is like, thank you. And there's certain whiskeys that you just go to and you want something. If I want uh, barbecue, chip, peat, I'm gonna go Port Charlotte 10. If I want caramel, I'm gonna go Elijah Craig single barrel, barrel proof. I'm trying to think what I would want, kind of mood I would be in to go for this. Um, if I want like berries and caramel, um, some peppers, I'd probably reach for this. Which sometimes I do. Sometimes you do. Hmm. Water did not change the nose for me at all. It's a bit of raw wheat, but just there's no wheat in here, but. I'm still staying in a cornfield on the Okay, nose. maybe, yeah, maybe that's just a different grain. Didn't change it a ton. But, yeah, maybe a little bit creamier, but. Mm. Mm. No, my, it, <laughs> it did the opposite for me. It, it was well balanced and blended neat. The water uh, makes it a little bit astringent now, and uh, I liked it better. I liked it better with neat. Um, but it, uh, as we've seen on some some recent reviews we've done in the past few weeks, that uh, like one you added too much water on and you didn't like it. I added just a, a different amount of water, and you liked my better gene. Yeah. Well, I like this a lot better than I thought I did. I'm mean, curious to see what my uh, score was. You had written down. I want to say I gave it like an 82. 87. I'm going with an 86. 86, 87 for 86. me. 86. Yep. You. Gene, you, you gave it a 98. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Flip that sucker around. Uh, you gave it an 83. 83, okay. I remember not liking this. I mean, yeah. it's, anything above an 80 is drinkable, let's, let's be honest. But I, I didn't like this as well as I do now. What did you pay for it, Gene? Or I paid for it? 65. Ooh, too much. Way too much. Too much. Way too much. Uh, if you would have said 45, I would have gone, mm -hmm. 40, I think 40, you said this is how much again? 65? 65. That's too much. Mm, too much. Too much. Uh, Heaven's Door. It's a total wine store pick, so I thought I wasn't mm. going wrong. That's true. I mean, so, I mean it's, it's not bad. It's it's tasty and it's I'm all like, right. I'm a total wine, I like total wine. I gotta have a great store pick. Well, we we've, don't have a Total like, Wine in Kansas. No, but I've got more than one store pick from yep. Total Wine, and, and I was pleasantly pleased mm -hmm. as a plump. Makes me think of uh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, where she grows up like a big old berry. <laughs> big old berry. Yep. Uh, anything to add, Jean? I have nothing else. Oh, to add. subscribe to the channel, so, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you do not. Again, only one of us will take it personally. That'll be me. <laughs> Anything, Dad? Nothing else to I'm add. I'm Charlie. I'm Gene. Hope you are just as thirsty as we are. 